Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox flew over a massive South City sinkhole. This is at Ohio and Blow Street. News 11's Patrick Clark shows you how the city is working to fix it since there's a six inch water main underneath. South City residents waking to a surprise Wednesday morning. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox over a giant sinkhole at the intersection of Idaho Avenue and Blow Street. I thought I heard something, but I thought it was gunshots. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not from here, so I'm always hearing gunshots here. St. Louis City Water Department confirming a six inch water main break, shutting off water to several homes nearby. MSD on the scene early Wednesday morning as well. It's not uncommon, especially in the city where uh, we both have really old infrastructure for one thing to break and that to affect the other. So either the water main breaks and washes out the sewer line or the sewer line has a break and erodes away soil so that the water main breaks. Until we get in there, we don't know what caused this or if it's even affecting our system. The water department says someone reported the sinkhole Tuesday night around 10 p.m. and it appears to have gotten larger overnight. There is also a gas line under this section of roadway in addition to MSD pipe. Thus, three groups all trying to determine the cause of the collapse and get services back to normal as quickly as possible. So our process is we put a robot in there that has a camera on it. Uh, we'll check all of our lines in this area, see if there's any damage. Uh, once we know what that damage is, we'll figure out how to repair it and make those repairs as quickly as possible so that city water can get in and make their repairs above us. Because I've seen some sinkholes like on YouTube and stuff. And I used to live in Baltimore and you see just roads giving out from stuff busting underneath. Maybe they need new piping or something. By late afternoon Wednesday, crews working together to determine a fix. In the Carondelet neighborhood, Patrick Clark, News 11.